Joining us this morning is a Philly native who spent over two decades as a referee in the NBA, but now he's taking a new leap of faith. Steve Javi is with us in studio. Steve, good morning. Good morning, Pat. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. So first, let's talk hoops. Okay. You retired in 2011 as an NBA referee. Right. You were there for over two decades. You're now a rules analyst with ESPN. What would you think of the Raptors finally giving a championship to Canada? Yeah, I, I really didn't see it coming, Pat. I know going into the series, there were people who were picking the Raptors, and I really didn't think too much of those predictions. And all of a sudden, they start playing well, and obviously they played the best of the team teams in the finals. They were great. Pretty incredible to beat a, a Warriors team uh, like that. But last week was a busy one for you. Not only were you keeping up with the NBA mm. Finals, but you also became an ordained deacon. You'll now be at St. Andrew's Parish in Newtown. What was that journey like? Just an incredible journey. I can't really explain it to you. It was seven years of formation okay. in, a, in a permanent diaconate program in the Catholic Church. Uh, studies were incredible. You come out with a master's in theology. Mm -hmm. um, never expected, never saw this coming either, Pat. I really didn't. But I know in retirement, I've been blessed my whole life. And I know you and I were talking about being involved in sports our whole life. Sure. Getting a paycheck in sports my whole life was really incredible. And I just felt an allegiance to God, that, you know, who's given me the gifts to do this, to give back to him and his church. And so this uh, formation was just was an incredible experience. It's hard to describe. So it took you seven years. What was the preparation like? What goes into that seven years of, of teachings and testings and all that? Sure, sure. A lot of testings in the beginning, mm -hmm. there's no doubt. Um, master's level courses in theology. Okay. Uh, Wednesday night, every Wednesday night at the seminary, Saturday workshops, Monday homiletics courses. Wow. And pretty soon, <laughs> seven years sounds like a long time. Yeah. But at my age, it goes pretty quick. You'll see <laughs> when you get to be my age. Good to know. Um, what happens next? You're a rules analyst. You're still staying with the game. But now you add this, this layer to life. So what's the future hold for you? Yeah, it's incredible. Um, I'll be working at the Parish of St. Andrew with Monsignor Picard, who's an incredible shepherd. At the, our, pa our, our pastor is an incredible shepherd. And I'll be assisting him and assisting at the sacraments of baptism and matrimony and so on, wow, okay. plus other ministries at church, and also at the same time having my hand in basketball, which I love. So I have two things that I love immensely, so it's wonderful. All right, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Okay. Hardest call that you've had to make. Doesn't have to be in the NBA, oh. but in life. I mean, I'm sure mm. there were some, some calls there with, with mm -hmm. Jordan back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you can go anywhere you want with this one. No, that's, that's an interesting question. I'll give you the easiest call. Yeah. Marrying my wife, Mary uh, Ellen. Good answer. She huh? better be watching. She's Ellen, watching. Come on. <laughs> um, the hardest call, Pat, I have to say, really, answering this call. Yeah. Because I didn't expect this. I knew I wanted to serve in some capacity, Pat, but I didn't expect this coming. And so uh, there's all these doubts. And am I good enough? And so on and so forth. Sure. But you know what? We're, none of us are worthy, but we have to continue doing it and following that path. So this is a difficult call, but it's so rewarding right now, and I'm looking forward to what God has planned for me in the future. Great call. And Mary Ellen, she's like that answer. Yeah. Steve Javi, thank you so much. Appreciate thank you very it. Much.